Hi, our friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about how to draw a funny nachosaurus. The materials that you need is paper, a black marker, and something to color it. You can use crayons, markers, or color pencils, or something that you have at home to color it. All right, first we're going to take our marker and put a rainbow curve line. Like... Like this. Like that. Next, we're going to put a U shape like this. And then we're going to make another curve shape going like that. Next, we're going to connect the curve like this. Put it like that. And then put a rectangle shape like this. Put another line right here. And another rectangle shape and then connect this to the rectangle shape right here like that next I'm gonna put the rectangle shape right here by the first rectangle shape and another rectangle shape like this like this so far next I'm gonna put an eye for it so I'm gonna put one eye put another circle and a big eye and then color it the big one but leave the little one white next I'm gonna put the mouth like that and then I'm going to also put a little dot for the nose, like this. Next, I'm going to put some little toes on the nachosaurus. So I'm going to put tiny U-shapes like this. Put a tiny U-shape right there and another tiny U-shape like right here. Like that. Next, I'm going to put the nachos on top of the dinosaur. So I'm going to put a triangle shape going like this. And then another triangle shape like that. And then another triangle shape right here. And then another one right here. Then a small one. Another one. Right here. So it should look like this. So Next, I'm going to put dripping cheese on top like this. So it's just going to be like a really line. So if you saw my ice cream folding surprise, Video. It's just like that. I'm just putting like the syrup. I'm putting like cheese dripping like that Like this and Keep going Like that Next I'm gonna also put dripping cheese by the dinosaur like this Like that. Next, I'm also put dripping cheese on the ground. Like that. Like this. So it should be looking like this so far. And you can also put your dripping cheese anywhere you like to. Next, I'm gonna put the spikes on the tail. Like that. Next, I'm going to also put some tomatoes on the nachos. And you can add any toppings you like on your nachos as well. So I'm just going to put like square shapes. Not like all the places, but some of the places like this. And I'm going to put some dripping cheese right here too. And maybe right here as well. Alright, next I'm going to also put some guacamole on my nacho cheese. So I'm just going to put... Like a cloud shape like this. Put a cloud shape right here. Cloud shape right here. And also right here too. Next, I'm also putting like sour cream on my nachos. So I like sour cream on my nachos. So I'm going to put like this. Kind of like a cloud shape too. Bumpy lines and like this. So it should be looking like some sort like this so far. Then next, I'm going to do my volcano right here. So, I'm going to put one line right here, like this. Next, I'm going to a curved line. And do the same thing to the other side. And also, our friends, if I go a little too fast, you can also pause the video to have extra time to draw your nachosaurus as well. So... Next, I'm going to put some wiggly wobbly lines like this. 
Next, I'm going to also put some salsa on mine right here. So it's going to be kind of like an edible volcano, kind of. So I'm just going to put like wiggly lines on it. Then I'm also putting some tomatoes as well here. Yeah, I'm going to make a red all, so. And you can put any toppings you want on your volcano as well. Next, I'm going to put some curved lines. Like it's kind of exploding. Like this. Next, I'm going to put some tomatoes on here too. Exploding. Like that. It should be going like this so far. So it should be like this so far. Next, I'm going to get started on coloring. First, I'm going to get my yellow color pencil to color all this cheese part right here. And you can also color yours kind of different. So, yeah, you don't got to do the same thing as I do. So I'm just going to color this all yellow. Next, I'm going to get my canvas color color pencil to color the nachos like this. So it should be the color. Kind of cool. Like that. See when I finish. Next, I got my orange marker to color kind of like a realistic. So I'm just going to put like a dot on my nachos. So it's going to be like a kind of like a realistic. Got this kind of green, it's okay. You can just use light green or dark green. So I'm just gonna color this. It should be like this so far. Next, I'm gonna get my gray marker to color these spikes right here and the nails of the nacho shards. So it should be looking like this so far. Next, I'm gonna get my green color crayon to color the nacho source body. So I'm just gonna color this all green. All right, so see when I finish. Next, I got my gray crayon to color the volcano. Once again, for the highlight for when the dinosaur is standing. I'm like a kind of oval shape. Like that. Alright, our friends, I finished my Nachosaurus. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big, big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified when a new video comes. Bye, art friends. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you all next time. Bye.